Welcome! In this video, we'll cover how to set up Translate Press integration with the Domain Mapping System plugin. This is a pro feature and not available in the free version of the plugin. If you would like more information about the pro version, including pricing and other pro features, a link is included in the description below. First, we'll discuss when and why you would use this feature. And then in the second half, we'll look at the steps to follow for integrating Translate Press into your site. There are chapter markers, so please feel free to skip ahead to any section. Why use Translate Press? Utilizing Translate Press along with the domain mapping system allows you to use a separate domain for each language you want your website translated into. For example, imagine if your main website is mydomain.com, but you have Spanish and French speaking customers and would like your Spanish customers to visit the language specific domain mydomain.es and the French customers to visit mydomain.fr. With the domain mapping system and Translate Press integration, that's easy to do. Now let's look at the process of setting up Translate Press with a domain mapping system. For this example, I will use the site domainmappingsystemvideo.xyz and I'll use the domain domainmappingsystem.store for a Spanish version of the site. Although you may wish to use language specific top level domains like .es, .fr, .en, etc. The end goal here is that when I visit domain mapping system video.xyz slash t-shirts, I see the English version of the t-shirts page. And when I visit domain mapping system .store, I'll see the Spanish version of the site. Step 1. If you have not done so yet, you must configure your DNS and domain alias. A link to these instructions can be found in the description or by clicking the link displayed in the upper right of the video now. Step 2. Another prerequisite is to install and set up Translate Press. We will not cover these steps here, but you will need to have your translations ready for the pages you want to map. Step 3. Add a domain mapping entry. Add the domain you want to map to. In this case, I'm using domain mapping system .store. Enter your cursor in the select the published content to map for this domain field and allow it to display a list of options. Select the page or pages you want your domain to map to. In this case, I'm using the parent page mapping we used in the last video for a microsite setup. If you would like to see that video, you can click the card displayed in the upper right corner now. Step four. Now under language per domain, select the language you want to map to the selected domain. If you do not see any languages, it's because you have not set up any translations in the Translate Press plugin, and we'll need to do so now. Step five, click save. Step six, when I visit domain mapping system video.xyz slash t-shirts, I have the English version. But when I visit domain mapping system .store, I see my microsite is displaying the Spanish version I set up. If you don't get the expected results, review this guide and ensure no steps were missed. It's also best to clear the cache at the server, browser, or CDN levels, or just temporarily disable them in order to make certain you're seeing the latest changes. Doing this can save you a lot of time trying to troubleshoot issues that may not exist. If issues do persist, consult our documentation or troubleshooting guides linked in the description below. That's it. Integrating Translate Press with the Domain Mapping System plugin is that simple. 